Okay, so the big, the most exciting thing about Daytona, uh, besides the banking, is the multi-class racing that comes with IMSA. Right here, you got all four classes. Right now, I think uh, DPI is my favorite, only because it looks like the road car that they're representing. So this, the Cadillac is gonna look like a Cadillac. The Mazda's gonna look like a Mazda. But um, besides that, GCD, GCE is my other favorite class I drive on Project Car to this class the most. Um, we got really, really expensive high-end factory-only efforts here. GTD is a GT3 class in other countries. Basically, it's customer, customer cars. Anybody can buy one. But, um, and they have different levels of drivers. Or well, LMP2 is my least favorite. Cause it's kind of like DPI, but it's sort of spec racing. But um, multi-class racing right here. So, uh, so far, hearing the cars go by in person, love it. Lexus is really loud, it has a thunder to it. I wasn't expecting So does the Cadillac. But uh, we just getting started out here, man. This, this is day one of four, so uh, stay tuned. Day one, shit, hour one. Haven't been at the track too long, but we made sure to buy the pit pass. So we got pit lane access. Um, so far, it's crazy, man. Um, we got all these spin. Hey, this is crazy down here. So <laughs> I can't, I can't stop smiling. Jew, uh, where we at, Jew? Daytona, man. Rolex 24. That's what we had. Man. Your first impression, like walking up in the cars. I'm, all I know is I hear it and it, it makes me giddy. Yeah. I get a little tingle in my stomach. Yeah. And I ride motorcycles. So. Yeah. It's like, I, I don't even know if you're going to be able to hear me talking when these cars roll by. But, um, man, it's crazy, bro. So races that I really want to go to, Daytona's off the list now. Sebring, obviously. Long Beach, I really want to go to because it's close. I really want to go to Laguna Seca and go to Atlanta. LMP2 car. It was so cool to be interrupted by my car just coming by. We got another C8, but um, one thing I don't think people realize. One thing people fail to realize about the prototypes, and I keep telling them, is the size of them, man. Um, the LMP2 right there. And you, like it's like it's like right here on me, bro. So I'll get a thumbnail next to one eventually, but they are not big cars at all. So and uh, man, that Cadillac with the uh, with the V8. Oh. At the GTL level. 
Alright. There's a lot going on down here, man. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot going on. This Flo this Florida humidity is killing me though. I need to go buy a t-shirt like right now. So we're gonna we're gonna keep walking around. I'm gonna go get a shirt and we're gonna change in the middle of a video for sure. <laughs> I'm dying, bro. <laughs> okay, so here's the bit M A G C Um I have a feeling that I, I have a feeling they're gonna win this year. Don't know why. Um, that's just who I'm going for for win. But uh, we just left the, the C8. It sounds sounds great in person. Um, we watched you watched a couple of videos of it. You you were kind of skeptical on the sound. What'd you think? Man, the C8 in person sounds aggressive. It's I a, love it. It's an entirely different thing. I love it. And um, I randomly was thinking about this, but I was actually doing some doing some prep. Um, What's your favorite car, honey? The C8R and the Cadillac DPI, they're both 5.5 liters. But the C8, the, the deep Cadillac sounds uh, flat plane or cross plane. We know this is a flat plane motor, but will the Corvette hold up for 24 hours? Will it win its race on its first debut? We'll have to wait and see. Um, man, it's, it's crazy down here. Um, all right, so we're getting ready to start qualifying now. Um, the experience itself is crazy. Um, our our pre pre race favorites so far, not favorites to win maybe, but just cars we like. I love, I'm loving the sound of that NSX GT3. Julio, uh, he's loving that NABA from Lexus, that five and a half V8. Um, the Cadillac roar is incredible. The C8 sounds way more aggressive than I thought it was. You hear a flat plane. You think different style is not going to be as loud as the old C7? Obviously, I wish I would have seen that. I wish I would have seen the Ford GT. But up close, in person, C8 sounds great. Um, Julio's way better with the camera than I am, so we're going to get some panning shots of these GT3 cars and GTE cars. Of, of the cars get coming off this bank right here. Uh, I'm going to turn and try to grab one, uh, just so...
I'm gonna need at least this much space so I can pay through. What's that? I kind of. I know. I know. I know.
time right there. Thank <laughs> you.